So, hello everyone. This is Ethan from Think Academy. From today, we are going to start the run through of our SMOCs and RIP MWC preparation booklet A. So, on each weekday, we will talk about one questions. So, in the first week, the five questions are all about calculations. Now, we are looking at the question one. So, we want to find the sum of this 10 product. So, we firstly look at the pattern of this equation. So, there are 10 products, and each of it contains two factors. The left factor of each production is 1, 2, 3, and till 10, which is obvious a arithmetic progression. We are very familiar with it, right? But what about the right factor? So, the right factor is 2, 4, 8, Till 1024. So, uh, if you are familiar with it, you can notice that each number is 2 times the last term. So, 4 is 2 times of 2, 8 is 2 times of 4. And in 1024, it's just the 10 power of 2, which makes this right factors can be written as 2, 4, 8, the square of 2, the cube of 2, and the 10 power of 2. And if lying up together, they are called the geometric progression. So this question actually is about the geometric progression. So how do we find the sum of this equation? Maybe we should first do some knowledge preparation about the geometric progression. So basically, how do we calculate the sum of a geometric progression? Let's make this question easier. For example, we just calculate this 2 plus the square of 2 plus the 3 power of 2 till the 10 power of 2. If we want to find the sum of this equation, this geometric sequence, normally we can use the two-step method to solve it. So firstly, we just assume that the sum of this equation to be a value of s, referring to sum s. Then, the first step is to Make this whole equation times the common quotient. The common quotient is in a geometric progression, right? So each term is the last term times a certain quotient is times 2 and times 2, right? So this 2 is called the common quotient. So now we just make the whole equation times this common quotient times 2. So s times 2 will become 2s. And then we can find, right? So 2 times 2 is the square of 2. Square of 2 times 2 will become the 3 power of 2. And till the end, the 10 power of 2 times 2 will become the 11 power of 2. And the 9 power of 2 here becomes the 10 power of 2 here. So this is the first step. We use the whole equation times the co common quotient. And the second step is that, by observing that, we found that these two equations have many terms that are the same. Actually, except for the first term and the last term, the middle nine terms, they are all the same. Because it's just the first term becomes the second, the second becomes the third. So that is the way the characteristic of the geometric progression. So if, as long as there are so many terms to be the same, there is a very easy way to clean them out, which is by finding their difference. So this is step two. We find the difference of these two equations. So the 2s minus the s, which will just be the 11 power of 2, which is more, and minus the 2, which is less. The mid 9 terms are all the same, so they are cleansed out. They are all, the difference are all 0. So we get the difference should equal to the 11 power of 2 minus the 2. But here is an interesting thing. The difference of these two equations is the difference of 2s and 1s. So what is the difference between 2s and 1s? It should just be 1 s, right? And s is just the sum of the value of sum we are calculating. So now we can just 
get this value of x to be the 11 power of 2 minus 2, which is 2046. So this is the way of calculating the sum of a geometric progression. You may know the formula, and this is the reason why the formula is here. And this two step, we remember, the first step is the time. So we use the equation times the common quotient. And the second step is we find the difference of two equations and to get the answer. Okay, now this is the basic geometric progression. Then we just move into the original question. So this equation is not a typical geometric progression, right? It has something more. But as long as it's connected about the geometric progression, we can always use this time and difference method to solve it. So let's have a try. So firstly, we also assume the sum of this equation to be an s. So the first step is the time. So we just use this equation times the common quotient. So the common quotient is just about the geometric progression part. So we ignore the 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So the common quotient is always a 2. So we use this equation times 2. So now we get so 1 times should be 1 times the square of 2, 2 times the cube of 2, and 10 times the 11 power of 2, right? So the first step is time. We get s and we get 2s. And the second step is we find the difference. But difference here is not easy to find. S, if we want to compare these two steps, so now this one, right? So this 10 times the 11 power of 2 is what's more. It's very obvious. But what about the first terms? Unlike the basic question, they are not the same here, right? But we can also find some patterns in here. By comparing with it, we can see that here, right? So this is in the equation s is 2 times the square of 2. But in 2s, it's 1 times square of 2. So comparing both two, we can have 2s have 1 less of 2 power of 2. Also, here we have 1 less of 3 power of 2. Until the 10th term, right? So the 10th term, we have 1 less of 10 power of 2. So to make it obvious, we may just add one term here, which is, so there is nothing here, right? So maybe we just write a 0 times 2 here. So the first term is also lack of a 2. So now we can find that we may find the difference. This one, so this 10 times the power of 2, it was more. And in the first turn term, in each term, we lack 1 of a power of 2. So the difference here can be written as what's more is 10 times the 11 power of 2, and what's less is 1, 10 power of 2, 1, 9 power of 2, until 1, 2. Let's change the form of this subtraction. We make it into this formation. So this, so this is what's more, and this is what's less. So look at this. Look at this formula. So inside it, isn't it just a sum of another geometric progression? Actually, it is just what we have done before, right? If you did not remember, you may just move this video back to few few minutes ago, and you can see how do we calculate this. So now, this equation, by using the time and a different method, we get it the value of s here, right? So value of s here would just equal to a certain value minus the sum of another geometric progression. So then we use, yeah, we use the way we do the geometric progression, so we can calculate this sum out and then we find the answer, right? As we have done it before, we just same time. So the sum of the inside part is just the 2046. And the former part, right? The 10 times 11 power of 2 is just 20,480. Now, s is just equal to the difference, so we get the s equal to 18,434. Now, this is the answer of the question 1. So in this question, we should remember, so any question about a geometric progression, 
we can always use this two step to solve them out. So the first step is use the whole equation times the common quotient. The second step is to find the difference of these two equations, and we can get the final answer. Okay, now that's all for today, and see you tomorrow.